not only with beauty, but as well with a lot of brain. And she showed the world that Belize is full of a lot of beautiful and intelligent people and how beautiful as well our little country is. Give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as I call Rebecca to the microphone. Let me hear you. After today, I definitely want to come back. You guys welcomed me with such love and warmth and genuine smiles and hugs. And I'm so happy that I was able to be here today. So thank you guys so much. Give yourselves a round of applause. Um, well, I didn't really prepare a speech for tonight, but I'll, I guess everybody wants to know a little bit about my experience in Manila, so I'll give you guys a little, um, I guess, overview of how it went. On January 30th, I walked on that Miss Universe stage, and at that time, I thought that was the most exciting, I mean, that was the biggest adrenaline rush, the most fun thing I had ever done, that I, w I was so proud. But honestly, when I, I, my plane landed and I got back to Belize, to see the welcome that I got and to see the support that Belizeans were giving me, it definitely topped that feeling. And this right here is the most, I mean, the most important part of this reign. You know, this, this, there's no other or greater feeling like this, this feeling that I have right now. And when you're in Manila and you're competing against girls that have been competing in pageants since they were six, I mean, they eat, sleep, breathe pageantry, and <laughs> there is women that are so beautiful that you yourself can't help but stare at them. There's cameras in your face that when the lights are flashing, you feel like they're seeing every single imperfection, and I mean, you're in a country all the way around the world, and you don't know what to expect, so it's so easy to get intimidated. But when I, I stopped and I thought about the work that me and my team put in six months before I left for Manila, I mean, that's countless hours of walking, that's interview training, that's wardrobe styling, nights where I probably only slept two hours. It was almost impossible for me not to feel confident and prepared. You know, I had a huge team behind me. And when you have that and you have the support like I had from all of you, here in Belize, I felt unstoppable, <laughs> serious. Um, and even though, I mean, I, I aimed for first place, of course, because in anything you do, you wanna, you aim to win. And even though we didn't make the top 13, I walked off that stage feeling a little disappointed, but when I went backstage and I pulled my phone and I was scrolling down with Belizeans who were so angry that we didn't make it or they were telling me that you still did really well and you made us proud. I mean, I still had that support that I had throughout the pageant. That's what made me feel like a winner. So I really, I don't feel sad that I lost because all of you are, are proud and are there for me. And that was the most important thing for me. So. <laughs> Even though I did hear that we were in the top 15, but I don't know how true that is. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know if most of you know me, but I have been an athlete my entire life. I've played volleyball since I was 12, and I've represented Belize through sports. So by nature, I'm just very competitive, um, but I'm also very, I guess, a tomboy. You know, a lot of people who, when I first told them I was going to do Miss Belize, they thought I was joking. They never thought that I would do that, but. Um, when I decided to do it, I guess my competitiveness just kicked in and I was like, I'm just going to go all out and I'm going to go in it to win it. And when that happened, it completely changed my life. Um, I know it sounds so cliche for a pageant girl to say, oh, I'm a better person after this or that, but honestly, since I won, I feel like I have a voice, you know, and I see so many young girls like you out here looking at me with those eyes like, oh my goodness, you know, but what you guys don't realize is that you, you feel inspired by me, but 
the fact that you guys are inspired by me, I'm inspired by you. You know, you guys make me want to do better. So thank you. <laughs> I, I only wish that every other Miss Belize, every athlete, every musician, everyone who is representing Belize, whether it's nationally, internationally, wherever it is, that you guys can have the same support that I had because without that I definitely wouldn't have been able to do what I did. And so I want to encourage all of you to support your local talent, support your musicians, support your athletes, you know. Support someone going up for a, a reading contest or whatever it is, you know. The support from people around you really makes a huge difference, guys. And, and I don't know how to stress that enough, you know. I got support from you, I got support from businesses, so many so many people believed in me, and while it was a lot of pressure, that's what, that's what made all of this, you know, that's what, that's what happened. Um, and while I had so much positivity and so much, chal I mean, like, opportunities, I also had a lot of challenges and a lot of negativity, but I, I just want to tell all of you, I mean, girls and boys, whoever you are, that never let someone tell you that your body isn't good enough or you're not beautiful enough you know never let somebody tell you or make a promise to you and when they when they can't keep it never let it stop you from achieving your goals and just because someone talks bad about you or doesn't like who you are doesn't mean that you shouldn't be yourself because that's what that's what I did I didn't go into this pageant to get this recognition I didn't go into this pageant to receive that key all I did I went in there, I was myself, and I did it to the best of my ability, which means a lot of hard work, and I had a great team behind me. So that's all you guys have to do, no matter what it is. If you have a dream, that's what you have to do. You have to work hard, do it to the best of your ability, and find those people who genuinely support you. That's it. And if you don't have a dream, if you don't have a dream, find something that you've never done before and do it. Because I promise that even if it doesn't turn out the way you think or you don't win, you'll leave that, you'll leave that with, with experience and with a newfound passion. I mean, I would never have done a beauty pageant in my life. And after this, I have a passion for representing Belize. I love fashion. So I found something that interests me because I did something I never thought I would do. So that's what I want to encourage you guys to do is just to take a chance, you know, do it to the best of your ability, always do the best in everything that you do and great things will happen. I promise you'll be unstoppable. Thank you so much for having me tonight and I, I thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, put it bigger than that. Give her a bigger round of applause, everybody. We have some nice. That's right, and uh, there's nobody in the world that can tell Rebecca that she was not suitable for that position. She represented us well, and you know what? I think she changed the entire mentality of a queen representing us internationally, the support that she got. For instance, myself, I told her today, I never follow the queen, the queen business, but check me out on my phone to share this Rebecca team. And it gone on and on, and I think so many people were doing it. And I hope that for the other queens that come by, Belizeans do the same. Because with support, we can do it. Once again, give her a big round of applause, people. I'd like to call on the young lady that I called a little while ago. She did not show up because the bus actually got her here a little late. But I'm going to call upon her, ladies and gentlemen, Shamika Moore, she's going to be performing Strength of a Woman. Sorry for being late, everybody. But it's better late than never, right? It's bigger. Sorry. <laughs> Give the 
of life has done me to this day. I give it up for a woman. She's a constant wind that fills my sail. Oh, that woman. With her smile and her style, she'll protect you like a child. That's a woman. Selection and uh, that's Shamika Morris. I'm happy she made it because that song was really beautiful indeed. Give her another big round of applause, everybody. I'd like to call on Garth Lopez. If Garth Lopez is around, please, Garth Lopez, if you're around, just step it up to the microphone. Garth Lopez, please. If Garth Lopez is not here, then I'll jump it over once again. And uh, let's see. I think he's here, right? Okay, come on up to the microphone, my friend. Are call you? The man is right there, I know the army. Give him a big round of applause, people. Come on, Mr. DJ, take it away.
they're wasting their time Stop standing in line Cause you're all And this evening I won't let the feeling die I never wanna leave your side a beautiful performance ladies and gentlemen I know I call upon Papa John if he's around he's not here all right so then ladies and gentlemen I jump it and I go over to we're gonna have a tribute to Leela Vernon by endemic group and uh, where are they do we have the endemic group here and this is a tribute to Miss Leela Vernon I know that you all know that Miss Leela Vernon passed away a few days ago and she's the queen and you know they brought down music at the videos are they? Yeah, I want to who said Creole no got more culture. Uh, very, very beautiful singer. Uh, nice selections. And I don't know if we have that group around. If we have that group around, please just step up to the microphone, step up to the stage, please. If we don't have them here, then I'll have to ask for. Oh, they're here. They're here. Come on up to stage. Don't hesitate, no afraid. I could do it. Once again, a beautiful evening in San Ignacio, and uh, we're here having a good time with Bex. And who Bex? Bex! Yeah, that's right, but we are with Bex. Okay, and we're waiting upon Endemic Group. They're going to be performing a tribute to Miss Leela Vernon. May her soul rest in peace. A beautiful uh, performer here in Belize, songwriter and performer that has placed a lot of beautiful selections and left them behind for us to really enjoy. Come on, Endemic Group. Where are you? Well, no, they make it hard for the DJ, and I mean for the MC, seriously. It's, where are they? Oh, that's on Libya, be man. Poly thing, man. And the rough day up, man. Poly thing, all right, let's wait on them. They're on their way. They're on their way, we have to love the children. We have to love the children because that's the future for Belize. So we have to nurture them, love them, don't hurt them. Okay, we have a lot of times people hurt the children. In Cairo, we don't want to hear that. In the entire Belize, we don't want to hear that. Let's love our children. Yes, and uh, after this, we're going to Mr. Universal True. I want they have to make some big heel like this for me. Yeah. Give them a big round of applause, everybody, the endemic group. Come on, man. Make a hand, please. Look at that pretty little thing for stage. 
That's one Lee Pretty Girl. Watch me. And Mr. DJ, they're working it out. Mr. DJ is working it out, but look at the three Lee Lee Lavernon name. Three Lee Lee Lavernons getting ready to do it for us. And again, don't forget that this is a tribute to Leela. Okay, and at the same time, doing it while our Miss Belize universe is here with us as well. Take it away, Mr. DJ.
right, give them a big round of applause. And that was a uh, tribute to Lila Vernon and as well. We had a little and the Palacio in between as well. All right, next we're gonna be calling on the marimba, okay? We're gonna be calling on the marimba. So we ask you to stay, please, because it's still not done yet. The marimba will play. Remember the marimba on a big part of the culture as well. And uh, now that I have the microphone, I'd like to remind you that on the 2nd of March, we're gonna be having the La Ruta Maya presentations right here at the uh, House of Culture. And uh, we're gonna be having a lot of cultural presentations and a lot of activities because you know that the Ruta Maya is a part of our culture here as well. So on the 2nd of March night, it's right here at the House of Culture, La Ruta Maya presentation with a lot of cultural activities right on this very same spot. Remember that's a four day race. It begins right under the Hawksworth Bridge, going all the way to Belize City. Three men per canoe, all the way in four different stages, and it's going to be beautiful as every time it usually is. All right, so we're gonna be having some marimba music and uh, right after that, then of course we say good night. I think while the marimba plays, I think Bex is going to be walking out. I think, um, and or maybe she plays the marimba along with the guys. I'm not sure, but let's see. Take it away, Mr. Marimba.